Well, hello there deities, I'm Majestic Mixy, and today we're going to be going through a tutorial for a pink leopard print skull. I had some fabric lying around from a few years ago that I had an idea. After a quick google and instagram search I didn't see anybody that had done a leopard print skull, so I wanted to put this out there. I hope you enjoy it. My brows have already been stuck down and I've showed how to do that in my previous three videos. It's just FX scar wax combed upwards with a spoolie and then some concealer over the top. I'm mapping out where I want the sockets to be but I want them to be in a leopard print shape so I'm just mapping that out in some white paint. And here I'm just shaping out where the outer skull parts are going to be. Um, if you're wondering who I'm talking to, I live stream this on mixer.com forward slash majestic underscore megzy. I'm just mapping out where I roughly want my teeth to be, but they don't end up being teeth, they end up being leopard print. <laughs> You'll see the theme as it goes on. So here I'm taking some P. Louise base on a Morphe M167 flat brush and I just pat that in all over the inner socket area. I'm pulling it all the way down as we're going to be using eyeshadow in that area as well. So here I'm using my Morphe and Jeffree Star JS5 brush and I'm dipping into the Beauty Killer palette and the shade Star Power, the nice pink shade and I'm just buffing it in from my crease upwards. So here I'm adding in a little bit of the A5 shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvino Volume 1 palette, buffing that up as well just to deepen the crease up. And then I'm taking the shade D5 from the same palette and I put it into my inner corner and outer corner to leave a little bit of space for the halo later on. And then I just do a lot of buffing here. <laughs> I like to swap brushes a lot. I'm gonna put a little bit of the black shade on, buff it up, and then I buff that out with a little bit of the pink shade on top, and I just alternate between the two till I get the desired um, effect that I want. So 
So here I'm just picking up the shade B3 out of the Norvina palette again with my finger and I'm just placing it from the centre of my lid to kind of halfway up and it's just going to create a nice halo effect. And then I'm going to take a brush and buff in the lines from each side just to take the harshness away from it. So this is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Liner in the shade Matte. I prefer the matte one to the other one. Um, the matte one doesn't give off a satin finish or a shine. So I prefer this one because it dries down nice and mattified. You can get them from any drugstore for six or seven pounds. So this is the Maybelline Lasting Drama 24 Gel Liner in the shade Blackest Black. Uh, this is a really nice wet liner for smoking out your bottom lash line. And I'm just buffing it in with a brush. Then I pick up the shade A5 from the Norvina palette with a Morphe M507 brush. And I'm just pulling that down to the bottom part of where the end of the socket will be. So we're moving into the paint inside of things and I use, just now I use water based Snazaroo and we're picking up the light pink shade and blending as we go. It's easier to blend when it's wet than it is to when it's dry. So I'm just putting on some white where the natural highlights would hit the, I'd say skin but it's a skull. <laughs> and then underneath I'm just making sure that there's nice shading. And here I'm just going to fill in the rest of the skull area. Here I've picked up the A5 shade again and I'm just adding it to the forehead and the base of the cheekbone where the deeper parts of the shadows would be. So here I'm taking a black face paint 
and I'm adding it little by little and then buffing it out with a dry brush and then I'm adding in a little bit of some pink shadow and I'm just trying to create the shape and depth that I want in this area. So next I'm going in with some black paint on a fine liner brush and I'm outlining and filling in the areas of the leopard print on the socket. And with the same paint I'm just going to outline the outer parts of the skull where it's going to make it pop. So here I'm going to start pulling in the paint on the outer sides of the hollows of the cheeks and then buffing it in with a dry brush. And then I'm just starting to black out all of the rest of the outer parts. Here I'm just starting to map out where I want the placement of the teeth to be but unfortunately the mirror's in the way for the majority of it so the next clip we just cut straight to them being finished. So I'm just filling inside the teeth with white pen and then going around all of the leopard print sockets with white paint as well to highlight them. After that I start to place the leopard print down with the same paint. I started off doing some C's and some back to front C's and then I didn't really know where I was going with it so I picked up the fabric and started to use the fabric, excess fabric, as a reference. I then fill in the middle of these with a little bit of the A5 pink shadow just to give them a little bit more dimension. And then start taking a little bit of the black shadow where I want to map out all of the bone structure and the ridges of where the teeth are. Mm -hmm. 
Are any of you guys into body painting and special effects? If so, let me know. If there's anything that you want to see, drop it in the comments. I'm happy to consider anything. You can also join the Discord, which is in the description box. There's a suggestions box where everyone gets to vote on what look they see next. Okay, I'm just going in with some shadow to create the ridges of where the teeth would be. Going in again with that A5 shade in the middle, I'm just placing out where I want the rest of the leopard print spots to be, just in case I regretted putting the black paint on first. I decided to start going in with the shadow, I thought it would be a little bit safer. And I've already filled around them with black paint already, with a fine liner brush so that tickles my nose! <laughs> I actually found the powder then liner brush method to work a lot better than liner brush then powder. Then I'm just adding some more shadow to the jawline and finishing off the rest of the skull at the jaw. So next we are adding on the nose and I'm sticking to the leopard print theme again. I wanted everything to be leopard print. <laughs> so just following the classic shape of a skull nose but just missing lines in between to make it look like leopard print. And then we filled the inside with the pink shadow again. A5 shape. So this was leopard print fabric, I turned it upside down and I drew a sternum on it, cut it out and then I hand stuck all the gems onto it and I'm sticking it on with spirit gum. And then I start filling in around that with some black paint. And now I'm attaching my collarbones. Two color buns and a little boogie for you. And some more black paint. What? 
So I've turned down the saturation on my cam. It helps me see highlights and shading that needs done. And I'm also attaching on the shoulder piece here with some liquid latex that I like to smear all over my shoulder, obviously. <laughs> That's my favourite part. Going in with some white highlights to make everything pop. I'm using the Snazaroo Cream Paint. If you're using water based paints and you go over white highlight, it just sinks into the colour underneath it. So you're going to end up with just a light pink. So I go for the cream based paint because it pops a lot better than the, the, the water based one. And then I'm just going around the outer edges with some more shading of the A5 pink colour and some darker on the top to give a bit of dimension. And then back in with some more white highlights. I feel like highlights are one of the biggest things to make a look come together at the end along with line work and um, detailing is what's going to make your look pop the most. Here I've put in some pink contacts from bluebanana.com and um, attaching my neck piece that I cut out. I've also added on my lashes off cam. They are from Unicorn Cosmetics. I have a 20% discount code in the description and also I'm affiliated with them if you want to click that link. I'd be greatly appreciative. Thank you. I'm just finishing up filling in all the blank spaces with black paint. Then I'm taking the white cream paint again and I'm adding in some highlights. And then I'm just touching up all of the black areas for photo purposes. This has been my own creation. I've also got a blue version of this on my Instagram. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you could like and subscribe for some more tutorials. Thank you.